in the cottage. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Uh, we are going to review another comic book. It's Batman Confidential. Confidential. It's written by Fabian Nicesa. And it is drawn by Kevin, Kevin yeah. McGuire. Kevin yes. McGuire, who is quite, I mean, Fabian Nicesa, first of all, is famous for being a terrible writer. No. <laughs> In I a weird way. I he's done no some idea. brilliant, brilliant things. Yeah. But he just is, I guess, so prolific that he does, <laughs> he gets tossed about five or six titles at a time. This was back in the 90s when Marvel was really <laughs> overproducing stuff. And he mm. just would write whatever and would use formulaic stuff. But he's done some really great stuff. And this is an example of, I think, him having a lot of fun with the story. Yeah. It's, and he's got Kevin McGuire doing the artwork, and Kevin McGuire is very famous for expressions. This was the first guy who drew Batman with a cape that just sat, you know? Uh, people having uh, emotional problems with doing what they were doing and looking sad and looking happy. Like, it was, he was all about the face. And it's this great story where Batman Confidential, the, the, the whole premise behind Batman Confidential is they're going back and retelling old stories. Old stories that were never told. So this is the first time Catwoman and Batgirl meet. Okay. Batgirl being... Do they, like, fight? They do, actually. Not only do they fight, they fight naked. No, really. Oh, yes, they yeah, fight they naked. It's quite... Uh, it's it's kind of like show. the books I had that were club confidential. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they fought naked, too. But how did they lose their clothes? Wait. Okay, I mean, that's, I'll that's, get to that. I was going to... I'm looking at Mike to say. And is there Jello involved? No. Here's the thing. There's... Products. I think, I think he is a good writer, and funny enough, his best stuff was on New Mutants and X Force. Yeah, it was awesome. He did do some. When good he was stuff. actually trying, I think he, he's a pretty decent writer. The reason I don't like the story is because it really is just an excuse to get Batgirl and Catwoman naked. He, this is what happened. Yeah, <laughs> he, yeah and why yeah, is that bad? And Batgirl chases Catwoman into a hedonist society. And the only way she can get into the society to search for Catwoman is she can, if she can take off all and the And Catwoman dares her to I say, know, but it's just so ridiculous. brilliant. It's just so, six issues of that. I'm not brilliant. saying, yeah. I'm, not saying think, I'm not saying Fabian I says it didn't write this script on a napkin exactly. after a couple of drinks. I'm yeah. not saying that. I'm just saying, I mean, Every he also wrote. Every episode of Comic Book Syndicate's done like that. <laughs> the thing is, Do you remember the great book called Curtis War that Marvel put out? No, I don't. Drawn by Eric Larson, written by Fabian I says it. No, you don't, because no. it sucked. Because he oh, writes well, a lot of terrible look, garbage. Look, look, here's the thing. He is a good writer. This is, it, it actually is yeah. it's, it's readable. It's enjoyable. Good dialogue. Yeah. One of my favorite artists. You know Kevin McGuire, right? Of He's course. He's a great That's... artist. Time out. Whatever. Time out. Alan Moore. Good mm -hmm. writer or bad writer? Good. Is he a good writer? Because he wrote this book called Lost Girls. That's true. Which yeah. is, the entire book is just lost girls who happen to be naked. We were grumbling in the audience. Yeah, rare. Yeah. Yeah. But how is that okay for how is it okay for Alan Moore, but not okay because, for Jerry Maguire? Because no, Kevin. For Kevin. Because Maguire. Lost Girls was blatant uh, porn. This is disguising itself well, as also, a Batman comic. Well, no, but this, no, right. so then it's even better. One's done as an homage <laughs> to Victorian era um, smut. The other one is done as a fun fantasy for comic book fan boys, let's say, and maybe some of the girls. I say, let's take it to the, the viewer. Let's take it to the viewer, www.comicbooksyndicate.com. We want to know your feedback. We want to know, www.comicbooksyndicate.com, yeah, right? two dots there. www.com, mm -hmm. comic book syndicate. Computer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm typing it up right now. I liked um, maybe the acting. <laughs> it was pretty good acting on his part. I think it was um, one of the better Marvel movies, I think. I thought it was great. I thought it was great. Probably one of the best comic book uh, adaptations in a long time. I thought it was fantastic. I was impressed um, as far as superhero movie goes, or movies go. Best one I've seen so far. Two thumbs up? Yeah, best one so far. For sure. I thought it was really good. I don't know anything about Iron Man. Um, and it was really fun to watch. I'd, you know, I'd recommend it to anybody. Yeah? Even if they don't read the comics, even if they don't know anything about Iron Man. That was an awesome watch. I was quite impressed. It's a lot better even than I thought it was going to be. Oh, I love it. Yeah. It was, uh, 
interesting. I'm not a fan of superhero comics, but I really like this movie. It's really well done. And I think everybody wants to be Tony Stark. Are you allowed to talk about, you allowed to talk about the film? Yes, we can talk about yeah. it. Okay, Iron Man, what do you think about Iron Man? It's a good movie. Okay. <laughs>